Welcome to the University of Alabama, home of the third-ranked Crimson Tide gymnastics team. Sarah Patterson, as you've already noticed, I'm sure, is not with us this week, but Ryan, Brian Rochella is, her assistant coach. Brian, welcome to the show, first of all. Thank you, Tom. It's good to be here. Well, especially good after coming off a pretty good win, not as high as you wanted with a 196 or 195, 825 against Arkansas, but still a pretty good meet, wasn't it? You know, it was a good meet. Um, first of all, the crowd, again, was phenomenal. Yeah. 13,600 people, again, for another home meet, which is, you know, making us average over 14,000 at this point, which is just unbelievable. Our fans are the just absolute best in the world. Um, it was a good win. I think we made some steps forward in the right direction. Uh, still some areas we've got to work on, but overall, I think it was a little bit better performance than, than we had a week ago. Um, the scores just didn't reflect it. And that's, uh, as we see, as we'll see during the show itself, the scoring, the judging was very, very tight, wasn't it? It was very tight, but, you know, we can use that to kind of model our practices and go back and look at the videotape and the highlight tape like all coaches do and just uh, you be as picky as possible. You know, we told the girls after the meet, we just don't think they can judge us any harder than that True. all year. And if that's the way it's going to be at nationals, then, then we need to work on some things and, and, and show them that we can do those uh, nine nine routines and better on a consistent basis. Here we are in the middle of February. The Nationals will be here before we know it. Yes, it will. Real quick. Well, a good win over the University of Arkansas. We're going to take a look at the highlights, starting with Bama on the vault and bars, coming up next on the Sarah Patterson Show. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Sarah Patterson Show, Alabama against Arkansas. Brian Rochelle is here this week for Coach Patterson. Let's take a look at the Crimson Tide in action against the Razorbacks and start with Bama on the vault. Brian, this was a pretty good night for the team. We start with Caitlin White, a 975. You know, Caitlin's doing a great job in the gym. Her vaults are getting uh, bigger, her form is getting better, and we've been working real hard about on our landings, as you can see. Um, but, I, you know, I really don't think there's many teams in the country that have as many big vaults as we do that, that clear the mats and, and get the height and distance. Dana Folletti to me has had such a consistent season for you. She is working incredibly hard you know she's just one of those seniors that uh, is just taking it all in and making it her senior year. Mm -hmm. This is my senior year and she's got some goals that she wants to achieve and and she's doing a great job. Brittany McGee with a 9-9 to match Ashley Miles coming up with a 9-9. Sarah and I have talked about the freshmen throughout the course of the season. It really is a talented and I guess a hard-working freshman class, isn't it? You know, they're an amazing group. When they, come, when they came in we, with that many freshmen, you just never know what to expect. Yeah. You know, the dynamics, the, the different backgrounds and things like that. And, you know, we watched a, a, a very talented team from Georgia last year struggle through most of the season with a predominantly freshman team. And, you know, we, we've had areas that we need to improve on, oh. but overall our freshmen have done an incredible job so far. Their work ethic and uh, in and out of the gym has been tremendous, and uh, they're showing the rewards for it. Well, a couple of freshmen were especially good on the bars. Let's head with the Crimson Tide to the uneven bars. And we start with Cassie Martin, a 9725. And Cassie, to me, is one of those great record in the classroom and obviously a great record as a gymnast. 4.0 GPA, um, as you can see by watching this routine, it's a very clean routine. She's get, she gets a lot of height. She missed her handstand there and had to turn it into a switch glide, which, you know, shows her intelligence a little bit because mm -hmm. she was able to cover up a mistake. Um, and finish this routine strong. She misses a couple of handstands, and uh, I believe she takes a little bit of a step on her landing here to finish up the routine, but overall a very clean routine, and she's just got to work on that little balance check there at the end to clean things up. Melanie Banville, this weather is suited to her Canadian background, as cold and as nasty as it's been, but she responds on this particular night with a 9-8. It's a good routine. She's working hard to get these, this straddle back to handstand right here. She's a little bit short there, um, but we're working hard in practice to get that corrected, but she knows how to finish up a routine, and um, obviously from being an Olympian, she knows how to kind of close the deal and stick a dismount. One of the great things about her routine, when she goes from the low bar to the upper bar, the feet almost touch that upper bar. And it's an incredible show. It's an amazing awareness. And here's Dana Folletti continuing for her a very good night there. She almost touches the, the, the bar there. It, it just shows, I don't know, a lot of flexibility. You know, it's actually a more difficult skill than people can imagine. As you can see there, she um, struggled a little bit on her ginger. Her legs were apart, which is a significant deduction. 
Um, but she, you know, she overcame a lot. She didn't warm up particularly well tonight on her ginger. She had some struggle, struggles, but she overcame those uh, and was able to put together a pretty nice routine. The nine seven seven five, and then Taryn Humphrey closes out the Bars lineup for Alabama with a nine eight. Taryn misses a few handstands in this routine. Um, it's a very difficult routine, especially this combination here at the toe half uh, to what's called a horkina. And there's not a lot of swing, as you can see, out of that. So to get a handstand um, out of that particular move is pretty difficult. She does a nice job on the ginger there, little separation on her legs. And uh, I think she finishes the routine pretty strong here. But uh, these judges are really hard on looking for those handstands. You have got to yeah. be in vertical. If you're not, it's a deduction. You know, nice landing. Could have been a little tighter, but uh, overall, hits the, if she hits those handstands, um, she'll, she'll be back up in the 9-9 nine, nine range again. We noticed you on the mat there as the ladies were going through their bar routines. Your goal, your job there is to be the spotter. I guess that's just to be there in case something goes wrong. Well, you, n you never know what's going on. Uh, I mean, they, they train hard, um, but it's a, kind of a just-in-case thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if they miss a hand falling from that height, oh, yeah. Uh, it could be very dangerous, uh, the, you know, the tendency of the human nature is to put a hand down and try to stop yourself, uh, which could cause serious injury. Sure it could. Uh, Ashley Miles fell, you know, the week before on that move, and I think uh, 14,000 people gasped, and, uh, but more. Ashley was fine. Yeah, but uh, yeah, my job is to watch their hands, make sure they're on the bar, and if something happens, just kind of try to dive in and save them. Well, on this particular night, Brian had an easy one. Good night for Bama on the bars. We're headed to the beam with a Crimson Tide against Arkansas when we come back on the Sarah Patterson Show. You're back on the Sarah Patterson Show. Brian Rochello is here today. And, Brian, we've talked throughout the season about some of the great freshmen. Ashley O'Neill may get overlooked a little bit, but as we are going to see on the beams, she's had a pretty good season, hasn't she? Ashley's having a real good season. You know, she, she came off a, a very serious injury her junior year in high school where she tore her Achilles tendon. Mm. Um, and, and you really can't see any remnants of that at this point. You know, she's doing a good job of, of getting out there and hitting the equipment. She worked hard this week to correct her errors that she had the previous week on the floor. Uh, and she's being really consistent on beam. Well, let's go to the Crimson Tide on the beam. And we start with Ashley O'Neill getting a 9750. Ashley's got a lot of a, a lot of difficulty in this routine. Um, you know, some girls have a different. Each athlete has a little bit different style. You know, you compare Ashley to Marie Bear. Marie Bear is more of, uh, you know, the ballerina on the beam, mm -hmm. so to speak. Uh, Ashley's got a little bit more power, uh, which shows in her in her tumbling, uh, which she does particularly well. And uh, I think she's all, the only one performing the, the dismount that you're going to see here in a minute in the country. But she does a good job of, for somebody who's more of a power type tumbler, uh, to show her leaps and get the flexibility that, that she needs and, and, and show the judges that she can hit those 180 degree splits and things like that. She's a little bit short, but she's working hard on her flexibility in the gym to make that better. A little bit of a bobble there on the punch front. Um, sometimes they hold back a little bit when it's yeah. a, a pressure situation. Mm -hmm. Well, and I would think the beam is one area where power really kind of works against you, and you have to work to, to focus and kind of harness the power. And there's her double front right. dismount, which is an E, and she just makes it look so easy. She does it on floor and actually takes two or three steps into it. Amazing. A 9725 coming up for Erin Rightly. And Erin's had a nice year, hasn't she? Erin has really turned the corner this year. She, um, she's had her struggles with consistency and in pressure situations her freshman and sophomore year. Uh, but this year, she's just more or less made up her mind that she's going to do it, and she's going to do it big. She's done a great job. It was a little bit more uh, wobbly this week on beam, right there, a little bit of a balance check uh, as compared to last week, but rock solid in those times of, of pressure situations, which is going to look, you know, bode well for us coming up on SECs and, and nationals. I thought uh, we talked already about the judges being so very, very tight on this night. And in the beam, they were very critical, weren't they? They were very critical, but again, you know, we, we, can, we can use that. Uh, none of the routines were flawless and, uh, by any means, but Aaron does a good job of, of, of staying strong and not letting those little mistakes turn into big mistakes, um, which is easy to do when you're walking yeah. on something that's only four inches wide. And to me, this would be the, the one event where you really cannot let a mistake bother you because it can cause major problems. No, you can't. I mean, you've got to you've got to fight for every tenth. I mean, the uh, week before we lost by .05, mm -hmm. so every little bit counts. 
A 9.825 for Taryn Humphrey, and that move to start her routine still amazes me. You know, it's called the Humphrey for a reason, and, mm -hmm. uh, and if everybody would do it, uh, it, it, you know, that would be a, a change, I'm sure, but a triple turn on foot like that is very difficult. And she comes right back with this combination. Much better this week on that combination. She's still working on, uh, you know, being just showing the confidence that she needs to have up there. Yeah. And I think she's done a great job of that in practice. A little bit low on that punch front, um, but she's really working hard and inching her way towards, you know, the right direction. Nice loop combination there. Erin's just a beautiful gymnast to watch. She really is, and this year, as we talked with her last week, I think it was, she's just having more fun. She is, you know, she, you know, as we've talked about many times, she did take the summer off, so she's working on getting mm -hmm. back in a little bit better condition, but, you know, she still has the experience um, and the conditioning to, to get the job done. It's a watered down dismount for her right now. We're hoping to upgrade that soon for her. And then here's Brittany McGee, a 9875. Brittany is funny. She's been our leadoff person right. uh, all year, and she's done a great job. But, you know, as you know that uh, things happen throughout the year, a little injury, a food bug, or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the flu, anything could, could change your lineup at any given meet. Uh, so we try to switch things around. We put Brittany last this time, and she was way more nervous. You know, going up first with nobody to follow behind. Right. And I actually caught her. She wasn't, she was trying not to watch the other girls on beat. <laughs> to me, that would be natural. I wouldn't want to watch the others to, uh, to, to, to even think about bobbles or anything else. Yeah, it's, it's hard. Some girls are, you know, the girls did a good job of sticking together. Um, you know, Brittany's just an incredible beam worker, and she, that's her favorite event. Uh, she does a great job. She, uh, you know, like I said, a little bit more nervous this week, being the anchor person, so to speak, on beam, but still gets a nice score. Yeah, it's a score that's a 9.875, enough to win the beam on this evening. And the judges were tight all night, but, uh, you know, Brittany hit a... Brittany definitely had the best routine of the night on balance beam. Small step there in the landing. They could take a quarter tenth or a half tenth, depending on their mood. I think they were taking everything they could that everything. night, though. Everything. You're exactly yeah. right. Well, the Crimson Tide's headed to the floor to finish a great performance against Arkansas. That's coming up next here on the Sarah Patterson Show. Welcome back to the Sarah Patterson Show. Assistant Coach Brian Rochella with us this week. Brian, as Bama went to the floor on Friday night, Taryn Humphrey, to the fans, and I would include myself in that group, looked to have so much better a routine than she did a week ago. And yet her score was down. And I don't think it was because of the tight judging, was it? No, it really wasn't. That was one of those instances where Taryn did do a much better job. And I think what the normal gymnastics fan is used to when they see great tumbling like that, mm -hmm. and she did much improved on that. You know, her, her double Arabian was better. Uh, her middle pass was significantly better. And she had her chest up, nice solid landing on, on her last pass. But uh, with the rules the way they are this year, she missed her leap combination, and that's an automatic two-tenth de deduction. So in actuality, she started from a, uh, nine she had a 9.8 start value. Mm -hmm. You know, if she would have hit that combination, she would have had a 9.825, maybe a 9.85 with, you know, without the deductions that go along with that two-tenths from not combining the two skills. Um, but, you know, for the, for, the, for the most part, it's hard to sit back as a fan and, and, and understand that. Yeah, uh, it's very difficult. Yes. Well, let's go to the Crimson Tide on the floor. There were great performances, and again, we start with Ashley O'Neill, who gets a 9-8-0. That's a solid uh, routine for Ashley O'Neill. We're, we're working on getting that double front that you see off the beam as her opening tumbling pass, but much better height, much better confidence on her landings. You know, and for our freshmen, it's, it's a matter of getting them out there uh, in any type of situation, whether the person in front of you has had a mistake and mm -hmm. you've got to make up for it. Or, you know, whatever the case may be, of just stepping up and, you know, taking that big swing and not holding back. Part of the building process for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Much better middle pass this week where she bounced short, you know, a week before. Uh, and hopefully we'll move that pass to the end of the routine because the judges like to see those nice strong D dismounts, uh, which is what a double pike would be at the end of her routine. It is amazing to me how often during the course of the season you do change just bits and pieces of the routine. Well, it's a building process. It, mm -hmm. um, you know, with, with the level of difficulty that they're expecting at the NCAA championships, uh, if you were to do that at the beginning of the year and try to maintain that all year, you're putting yourself uh, at, at risk of significant injuries, overuse things, um, and we don't really want any part of that. We want to try to build those routines in and build them up uh, so that we're hitting them at the right time. Brittany, 
as you said, with a 9-8. Pretty good pass here. Yeah, Ashley does a nice job of sticking her landings on, on this routine and just, you know, she's a showboat. She likes to get out there in front of the crowd and she's got a great big smile and I think she's going to be a favorite here. I think so too. And another is Melanie Banville, a 9-8 for Melanie. Melanie did a great job. We changed her middle pass this week to try to get rid of a little bit of a, a deduction that she's had on, mm -hmm. uh, on the previous one. Uh, pipe full in was a little bit low, but she stayed solid on the landing. And last week on this middle pass that she's going to do here, uh, triple turn there, which is quite difficult, is she's going to, she changed it from a two and a half punch front to a front full punch front, um, which as you can see here is, is really clean. She takes a little bit of a step forward, but little step. She's got some, she's got some power behind that. She does not look like someone who is very powerful, but obviously you can see from the routine she is. Yeah, and I think when you see uh, her last pass coming up here on the double pike, uh, you know, her chest is up nice and tall. It's a big, solid last pass. And uh, I think with changing that middle pass gave her a little bit more energy for that last pass as well. She's a great dancer, obviously. Really she finished is. 22nd at the uh, Olympics uh, on Canadian's team, Olympic team. She's doing a great job. She's another 4.0 GPA this fall, uh, which going from you know uh, Canada to here, the, the, the systems are different. Sure so they are. Shows a lot of work ethic. Really nice last pass. Gymnast as a team, the highest grade point average on campus in the fall. And now Ashley Miles, always a great way to end an evening at Coleman Coliseum because she's just so excited. You know, I don't know how you can not watch Ashley Miles and not be amazed. Isn't it the truth? She is just a phenomenal athlete. Um, she's a little bit short there on her double layout, but she's working on her form, trying to get her legs straighter and tighter, and just, you know, she wants that 10 in the worst way. She, 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 she sets get. a high standard for herself, and um, it would take a pretty strong brick wall to stop that young lady. I would say that uh, she's going to build to get a 10 on her senior now. How about that? Over well, the national. I would like to agree with that, Tom. She uh, got back-to-back 10s -back last year at nationals. Yeah. Right? Floor, and then she, then she went to vault. She knows how to step up. She's a competitor. She does not. Um, she does not back down from anything or anyone when it comes to her skill. Is she perhaps the strongest gymnast we've ever had in Alabama? I've been here 10 years, and she's by far the strongest yeah. gymnast we've ever had. You know, I can't say prior to that, but mm -hmm. uh, um, to have a lady that that's tall, a young lady that that's tall and that powerful and that oh. athletic, I mean, I'm 6'5", and when she tumbles in the corner warming up, she's three, four feet over my head. Wow. And uh, that just is amazing to me. Nice, strong last pass. And uh, it's just always fun to hear how, how well the crowd reacts to Ashley Miles when she steps out on the floor. At home and away, as Sarah and I have talked about, at, uh, even on away meets, the eyes of the crowd just ride in on Ashley. Yeah, she's, uh, you, her personality and everything that, that goes into her floor routine is just amazing. She, she does, you know, she, Dana Duckworth Debransky does a lot of the choreography and, and comp composes these routines, but, you know, Ashley adds her personal touch that, uh, you know, just gives it that little extra. It's amazing. Well, a good night for the Crimson Tide. We're going to talk about the week ahead and hear from Cassie Martin when we come back on the Sarah Patterson Show. Want to know about Let's close out this week's Sarah Patterson Show with a conversation with Bama freshman Cassie Martin. You're a freshman. You're almost a sophomore now. Has this year, this first year at Alabama, been everything you thought it would be? Yeah, it has. It's been the best year of my life. It's everything I could hope for. The teammates are great. I'm enjoying gymnastics again, which I had kind of stopped doing. And, you know, I'm having fun, working hard, and achieving the things I always wanted to achieve. So it's great. Is the fact that you don't practice quite as much as you did before you got here, is that a big part of the enjoyment now? Uh, yeah, you know, it's not, we just do less numbers, whereas before I would do like maybe eight beam routines a day and now we do like three or four, so it's kind of, it's necessary to keep down on the injuries and it, it is fun, but it's also, it, it's necessary because it's, the schoolwork is a lot harder and it takes more time outside of this class. Now, how can you say the school works harder? You had a 4.0 in the fall, didn't you? Yeah, I actually had a higher grade point average in the fall than I ever did in high school, but that's because I actually decided I wanted to work hard and get a 4.0. As where in high school, I just kind of eased on by. 
Is that the key to it? Because to me, in gymnastics itself, it's such a disciplined sport. Academics the same way, isn't it? Yeah, you definitely have to be disciplined. I have a hard time trying not to procrastinate, but it's it's good. Cassie Martin, a great job. Brian Rochella, a good job sitting in for Sarah Patterson. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Tom. It was a pleasure to be here. Well, an open week coming up for the Crimson Tide, an open week next week for the Sarah Patterson Show. So join us two weeks from now right here for the Sarah Patterson Show.